right, so in the last video, we left off looking at the group by clause. Uh, now in this video, I want to take this a step further and see how we can use the join clause in addition to using group by. So uh, we'll go through a couple examples here of uh, some queries to execute. So the first one, uh, well, looking at the last qu query that we wrote, uh, we get, you know, the average product price for each store. Um, but all we see for the stores is just the store ID, uh, which isn't super helpful. Um, how about if we wanted to actually get the name of the store uh, printed out here in the column instead of the store ID? So in order to do that, that information lives on the stores table. So we need to perform a join here in order to uh, group by the store name and then select that column in our result set here. So uh, let's get started modifying this query to do so. Now the order here of how we write this uh, query out is important. Uh, we need to do the join before the group by clause. Uh, otherwise we will uh, see an error on our screen here. So let's go to the new line here and we've seen joins before. Let's write our join keyword now. We want to join the products table to the stores table, okay? And now we need to tell it how to do that. So we want to join those two on uh, where the stores.id column is equal to the products store ID column, okay? And now instead of grouping by the store ID and showing that um, as we did before, and we could see right now we can run this query and we get the same results back uh, as our previous query. Um, so which kind of emphasizes again that we don't need for this particular query or for that particular query, we don't need to do the join. However, if we want to get the, the name of the store here, that's where this join comes into play. Okay. So what we need to do now is we need, we want to uh, group by the store's uh, name column. Okay. So we'll replace the underscore ID portion here and say stores.name. So that will be our group by uh, parameter. And then up here, we'll select that out, we'll say stores.name. Okay, now if we run this query, now we can see the names of the two stores. So there's Bob Shop and there's Soap and Things. And then for each store, we list out the average product price, okay? And just to show you, I know I said this a moment ago, but if we uh, reorder this uh, query around, we try to put this join after the group by, and we try to run this, uh, you'll see that we get an error shown here. So the order uh, matters, you have to do the join before the group by clause. So let's put it back and run it and get our results here. Um, now as an exercise now, uh, let's see, I'm going to wipe my screen completely here. And let's do a variation of the, um, a query we did in the last video. So let's see the total number of products that each store is selling. So we'll list out uh, the total number of products for each store. And then also, like we did in this qu uh, query that we just ran, let's show the name of the store here. So take a few minutes, pause this video now, and then come back. And then you can uh, pick up with me, and we'll write out uh, the solution to this query. So to get started, let's write our select statement here. So we'll say select. And now we want to we want to show the uh, store's name here. So we're going to want to write stores.name. Okay, now the other thing we want to do is we want to count all the products for a given store. Uh, so since we're going to be using the group by to group uh, by the store name, any remember any underlying columns in that results set, uh, we need to, in order to use them, we need to uh, use an aggregate function there. So since we want to know the total number of products that each store is selling, we can use the count function here and say count star, okay. Now let's do our from clause. So we'll do from, let's say products. Okay. And now we'll do the join. So now we want to join the products table to the stores table on stores.id equal to products.storeid. And now we want to do our uh, group by. So we'll say group by. And now what, it, what do we want to group by? Well, the thing that we're explicitly selecting up here is what we need to use down here in the group by in order for this query to actually run successfully. So we'll say stores.name. And we'll end that off and we'll run this query. And now we can see that uh, Bob Shop has three products that it's selling and Soap and Things has two. So with that, uh, we'll end this uh, short video here. Um, 
be sure to take some time and practice running some uh, queries of your own with this stuff and really exercise all the things we've uh, covered up to this point. Uh, you want to you know, really try and get these uh, commands into your fingers and really solidify your knowledge and understanding of how uh, you write queries to make uh, selections or update values or insert or delete things from the database. So uh, before moving on to the next video, which uh, is where we'll look at the having clause, take some time and do a review and practice and test your knowledge and make sure that you understand and remember everything that we've covered up to this point. And then once you've done some practice and you feel good, you can come back, finish the having video, which is the next video, and then we'll be done with this level of the SQL section. So I'll see you in a little bit in the next video.